Welcome back to our um, Finca in Southern Spain, our restoration Finca. You wouldn't know it at the moment. Crikey, yeah. You're in Southern Spain. We're getting nothing done today at all. It's absolutely chucking out. It's been raining solid all day. Yeah. We have no idea what's going on here. It's in Southern Spain. We're on the Mediterranean. It's crazy. It's horrible. I'll we'll show you a look out the window in a minute. But the day's not been lost. We've had a lingering lunch in front of the fire upstairs. We have. Which is working beautifully after <laughs> we did the flu. Um, so we've been shopping. Yes. And we've got a plan for the next phase of the um, restoration, which we'll explain to you now. Right, so the next thing we want to look at, obviously we said we're going to do this door around this door because it's got big holes and they can get me hand in. Um, first of all, we're going to knock all this stuff out and a bit up there which I'll show you in a minute but we're going to, we've decided we're going to build the level up of this floor um, level with the outside, level with this level with this um, we didn't know what to do with it <laughs> just again, live with things and um, it, it does become clear eventually it takes a bit of time sometimes but if you can see it, where the edge of the door is we're going to put a, probably put a step there or maybe even a ramp um, because I'll show you that, I'll show you why. So this is the door way that runs through the old corral, um, old corral into the kitchen. Um, it's got a lovely old piece of olive, um, I think it, I'm pretty sure it's olive up there, which we want to leave and expose. It actually slopes up on this side, because there, there used to be a step here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock all this off and hopefully the lintel, if there is one, a wooden branch lintel like that on the other side is going to be high enough so we can have a step up here, exactly here. <laughs> Does that make any sense at all? Um, all the stuff that comes off here, I'm going to put a board across the floor and throw it in the floor there and I'm going to concrete over it. Um, ready for putting some big stones down again um, if it doesn't make perfect sense now the other thing that might do is we're going to put a door on here and um, we had an idea of putting a door on here um, but we might have to put a door on the outside perhaps when it's done um, because this is as you can see there already it rises up a lot there they're all they're all twisted like whatever so that's an, yet another problem that we need to solve um, but yeah I'm sure as we start knocking it off, which we're going to do first thing in the morning because we've written off today, um, it should start to become clearer. And that water you can hear in the background, I assume you can hear it, um, is the water running off the roof, which does not appear to have any leaks at all, which is absolutely fantastic. Very, very happy days on that one. It's going into our deposit, so we're collecting twice as much or more than we used to do. Um, but as you can see, it's a terrible day, absolutely horrendous. Uh, so I'm going back in now. Right, so Friday morning, sunny, a bit breezy, but we're off. Um, I'm going to put this big stone in here, which is going to be my step down there. Um, I just need to take out a bit of the floor. I put this little thin screed concrete down um, ages ago, because it was just dirt. And I just tried breaking it with the lump hammer. <laughs> it's not going, so I'm going to have to get a big shifter on it. So the idea of this step is, this will all be at one level, level with the door, so when you come in, you'll just step on, you'll be stood up here on the floor. When I've cleared this away, if I step down like that, I'm not knocking myself out. So that seems to work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dig this floor out a bit to just get that down a little bit at that side. This side here, it's just a little bit high, only about an inch. Then I'm going to start, take all this lot off, chuck it all in this hole here and um, put some concrete on it at some point. Um, so how far I'm going to go with this, I'm not sure yet, but we'll get big shifter out and have a mess about. So what I've done, all I've done, I've just drawn a vague line around the half that I want to be down. Ah, move them out of the way. A bit. Stay. And clear the area. <laughs> I do make good concrete. Right. 
Right, okay, there we go. This is going to be the first of our hardcore. It's great when you don't have to be barring stuff about. Right, a couple of little stubborn bits. I'll have a mess about with it, see if I can get him level. Right then, so he's in place, lovely. Um, I'm going to have a gentle look, if you can be gentle with this thing. Um, what's up here? Uh, I can see some faint cracking. So I'm assuming that's the um, where the lint will go, so we'll start there. It's just holding this above your head is not easy. Ugh. size of that you can't probably see it yet but right I'll carry on I'll clear a view shortly oh look at that um, two that's definitely a piece of olive um, and that we think is a piece of almond um, again this this building this side of the building is slightly newer than this part what this was originally we don't know there's a hand layer that used to be for the step um, might keep that don't know but you see they used to bind this is that grass that grows out. Have you seen the melon hangers we've had in previous videos? This grass that grows at the back, tons of it, and they used to plot it and wrap it round the beam so they could get the plaster to adhere to it. Um, amazing. Right, um, I shall carry on knocking away. That's the first mess into the hole. Um, I'm not going to take much to fill this up, is it? Um, <laughs> so right, I'm going to work around the door now. Right, so I'm going to start on this side first. Um, we want to build this back up to be exposed stone, obviously level with the door. Um, it's very loose. I don't know where the actual bit of the fabric of the building is. Um, but I'm just going to chip away and see what we can find. As always. Well, look at the state of this. Um, I've actually found some stones, there aren't many. It was just rubble and plaster and all sorts of stuff that's not good for the building. Um, yeah, big holes, I'm getting my fist in, bits just falling out. Hey, we've got a job on here getting this lot sorted out. Um, nothing bigger than usual, I suppose. So once again, just got to shift all this lot so I can get this bottom bit done. I see if I can find a bit of wall down here. This floor's filling up nicely with um, hardcore. Um, just got the bit at the right hand side at the bottom now. We don't want too much because it'll lift the level up too much. Obviously we want to concrete over that and then lay some nice, a nice stone floor on top of that so we can't have the level too high. Um, I'll probably smash it up with the old digging bar though. Right, I'll carry on. Right, we're done. Um, what a mission. We found a couple of stones in here. <laughs> we've got something to work. We just have to have to start from the bottom and work our way up, sorting it out. Lovely big stone on the bottom of this side. We're leaving this in. Um, we're going to figure out a door. But weird, very weird. There's a lot of nails in this wall. There used to be a door frame or a door stop or something in there. But the nails have been put in from that side. Unless they knock the nails into the frame when they put it in, put the frame up and then stuck all this stuff on the wall after. I'm just going to cut them off though. So, happy days, we'll get this lot cleared up and um, see what's next. Right, the next stage I think, I haven't got a tamping bar but I've got a digging bar which I'm going to use upside down. And um, just break these big lumps down, get it ready for concreting. 
Right, okay, cool, super cool. We've just wedged two big stones. You can see them. Either side of our bigger stone. Um, they're gonna form the sides of it. Obviously, this will all be visible, this front. We'll do something with this, probably put some stone down on that as well. But, yep, they're in there. We're all cleaned up, we're ready for concreting, which is gonna be in the morning. In the meantime, um, I've just tried to clean this bit of stone here to see what we're dealing with, thinking ahead of course, as what we're going to finish that with. Um, it's actually beautiful sandstone, um, if you can make that out on there. Yes, I think you can, all right. Um, so, I think I'm going to try and give this a clean up. I did that with a little scrubbing brush and just some water um, and see how it dries, but thinking about how to finish them as well, whether we do anything with them or not, I don't know. But I'm going to try and mop this area here and see, give it a good brush, a good hoover and then um, mop it and see what it comes up like. Let's have a look. Um, this is going to clean up lovely, look at that, if you can make that out alright. Um, it needs a serious clean up, but I think it could be a, a case for linseed oil in it, or... Um, not sure, here comes Jessie. <laughs> Jessie coming to investigate. She's not sure about the new floor. If you change anything, she can't see, can you? <laughs> eh? um, so yeah, I'm going to do a bit of research on what to do. It's actually sandstone, this, so it's very porous. So um, a linseed oil coat might seal it up and um, make it easy to brush in that. But yeah, in fact, there's different stones in it. We'll see what it looks like when it's dry. Well, it's not concreted in yet. As Andy said, that's a job for tomorrow, but we found our floor. We've been a good scout round the property and we've found some fantastic big stones. Um, need a bit of a clean up. Um, but I think that's going to look stunning. And then obviously in between we can fill in with some smaller ones. But um, yeah, really pleased with that. Right, Saturday morning. Um, the mix is out again. We've got our concrete mix. We're going to mix some concrete and get these stones laid down. The ones we cleaned up yesterday, um, when they dried, they kind of went back to the, the original colour. So it's going to need some sort of, we're probably going to linseed oil them um, when it's all done. Get them all cleaned up spotless and linseed oil them. Well, first of all, we're going to match up our new floor to the old floor. So let's get on with it. get these four big ones down first. All we've got to do is get them out of the way, wait for our concrete, took all the concrete in, bed them down, put a piece of wood across to get our level, tamp them down into level. See what that's like. Drop him in there. 
Well, that looks pretty alright, I'll tell Pretty good. Can we get this little fella in here now. Lovely. Right, we'll get these out of the way and we'll get these in. What we're going to do. We're just going to get these big four in and then um, fill in the gaps and point it all up afterwards. But just to get it laid basically. So that's it, they're in. Just got to wait for it to go off now. So we're going to take the dogs for a walk. Um, and then we've got some nice little flat stones to fill in the gaps later when we point it in. But um, happy days. Right, okay, so we're on hand mixes now. I want to try and get this bit under the door done first to give this frame a bit more support because we keep walking in and every time you walk on it but it's not easy because I've got to keep this cable out of the way and that's the one that it's only an extension lead for so our Wi-Fi and if we get that stuck we have no Wi-Fi you'll have no videos it might not be a bad thing right so let's see what we can do with this coming along nicely these in the middle by the way aren't set in yet and um, we've just placed them there we've just been finding the right sizes that we need um, Sharon's feeding me with mixes um, yeah I'll we'll just carry on well that is done it's a pretty good match to this um, you remember when I, when it was damp and um, you can actually see the color of the stones and stuff um, Sorry if it's a bit shaded out, but it's bright on the window. It's hard to get the light right. Um, but yeah, very happy with that. We're going to let it go off now. Then we're going to point it in to totally match this. And then, yeah, if, we're not going to clean it up just yet because we've got the whole room to do and lots of other stuff. But at the end, we know what we're going to do. We'll clean it and we're going to oil it. So we'll let that go off and then we'll get it pointed up. And oh, there's some, a couple of little gaps that need filling in as well. But yeah, very happy with that look at that doesn't it look great i can't wait to get it pointed it's going to be absolutely stunning um it's made such a difference we used to have to step in step down step up again step down again and um, we've still got a little step there for the um the corral the original corral floor the pebble stones that you perhaps can't see now on video but you've seen it before because of course we're keeping that the original floor um, but yeah, it's just made life so much easier, especially when you're bringing the logs down from up the land and you've got a, you've got an arm full of logs and you're stepping down, stepping up and oh, yeah. But we've maintained that head height for the door um, by putting this step in here, so a little step there, but we can cope with that. But I'm just thrilled, it looks so lovely. And we're so fortunate because we found this all this natural material just lying around on the land can you imagine how much it would cost to buy these great big thick slabs of stone so yeah very lucky very blessed love it yeah smashing um so what's next i want to get round this door done can you see this mess on here that that flue did um we're not going to clean it up yet we keep getting time to thinking we're going to get time to do it but then they keep threatening, threatening us with rain um, when we oil it it needs a good couple of days for the oil to go off before we get any rain they keep saying we're going to get rain so we keep putting it off it's not a big problem it will be coming up 
Um, this door, I put these wood trims around it um, ages ago when we first moved in. A little one on this side because um, there's a big hole to stop Jessie getting out. This is our blind cat and she likes to wander so we had to barricade her in. But these are coming off and then we're going to face up both sides of this with stone, do all the inside and um, I'm going to get all that face and get that last back wall there raked out ready for pointing um, and then when I've done that Sharon can just carry on pointing and you know pointing and some more pointing <laughs> for the rest of my life <laughs> I'm gonna start yeah get the get the start on that courtyard and get the guys in because we want that done for summer so then that's where we're at next time so um yeah fantastic but yeah we're making good progress again now so thanks for watching guys yeah shorter video this week we lost we lost Thursday, a day with the rain, yeah, yeah terrible, dreadful terrible. day. But um, yeah, really appreciate it as always. Um, yeah. And if you're not currently, consider subscribing to the channel. It's absolutely free and really helps <laughs> us out. And um, little subscribe button below, select all. YouTube will notify you every time we upload a video. If you want to carry on following our progress, um, please tune in on Thursday. Thursday for some more.